Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Here with a quick one from Philippians chapter 3. And we're going to start reading at verse 14 to the end, which is pretty short. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Lest, therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk, so as ye have us, for as an example. For many walk of whom I told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly. In other words, their appetites, their desires, their longings. And whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. <coughs> now listen, we have to be mindful of one main thing. In these last days, you guys, the fire is going to be turned up. You think you're living a holy life now. You think you are sacrificing for the glory of God. You think that you are giving all for God's sake. But let me tell you, there are little knobs and little switches and little buttons that Satan knows what to push that will get your attention. And when you think that you have done all to stand and you're standing therefore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Satan has some tricks up his sleeves and you better be warned now. Be warned. Don't play. You won't pay. There are tricks coming to many of you women of God and they're going to come in the form of a sexy pair of pants. And the same with you men. There are some ladies that have a spirit of seduction on them that will seduce you so far from Jesus you won't even remember how to spell his name. You got to watch it. You have to be very careful because there are times when you have to totally crucify your flesh, which means you have to deny yourself, your desires, your rights, your wants, your longings for the sake of God until it hurts. That's when the glory of God rises and that's when the demons run. Because when you resist the devil, he flees. You have to resist. You have to fight tooth and nail not to let cuss words come out your mouth. You have to fight tooth and nail, not to give in to your flesh and let your anger have its way. You have to fight tooth and nail, not to watch things that flare up the body's flames of passion. You have to fight tooth and nail to avoid getting into relationships when you feel your loneliest, when you feel like all you want is somebody to put their arms around you. You have to fight. Because there may not be a time in your life for a relationship. There may be a time in your life for growth and for God to begin revealing things in the supernatural, in the depths of your soul, in dreams and visions. But you won't get it looking in the natural, dealing in the natural, longing in the natural and satisfying the longings of the natural. Do you hear what I'm saying? So you have to be warned. These are the last days. The flames will be turned up. 
temptation will get bigger and bigger and more subtle. As they get bigger, they get more subtle. And what are they meant to do? Lure you away from the ways of God, from the things of God, tr make you stray from your purpose, from your path to your destiny. He wants to cancel God's assignment for you. He wants to cancel the steps God has ordered for you so that he can assign the curse on your behalf and destroy you slowly but surely. Have you ever heard of the story of the frog? <clears throat> this is the way frogs die. If you drop a living frog into a pot of boiling water, that frog is going to jump his behind out of there. But if you let a frog swim around in cool water, and you slowly increase the temperature, ever so slowly, you will have frog soup in a minute. Because that frog won't have enough sense to know his behind is being cooked so that he can be consumed. Do you hear what I'm saying? So you have to be very weary. You have to guard your heart. Guard your spirit. You have to fight the good fight of faith. You can't passively, casually slide on by and stroll down the boulevard with the Lord because it don't work that way. Bad English, but you get it. So you have to fight the good fight of faith. You have to be so determined that you're constantly asking God, Lord, give me the spirit of discerning of spirits. Give me the ability to discern right from wrong, to discern um, uh, an evil intent from a godly intent. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because not everybody that comes to you with a smile, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, not everyone that claims the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior is really belonging to Jesus Christ. They, A lot of them will be sent to change your mind from belonging to Jesus to belonging to Satan and being Satan's little patsy, little sucker. So you have to really be very careful. These are the last days. This is your warning. I'm not going to do any more tonight, but I just want you to think. Watch what goes on around you. Watch what kind of conversations. If he looks like he's Mr. Right, he may be too right. Hmm. You hear know what I'm saying? If she looks like the best thing that it, that it, since butter and peanut butter and jelly, you better watch. Watch, look carefully, because check out the timing. What were you doing when the relationship came on your horizon? What were you doing? Were you entering seminary? Were you getting ready to embark on a training thing at the church? where the pastor was going to take you under his wing or her wing and train you in the things of ministry? Were you getting ready to start prison ministry? Were you getting ready to start homeless ministries or Bible studies at home? Were you getting ready to help teach the youth about how to handle life and understand the Bible in, in a practical manner? What were you getting ready to do? Missions, whatever you want to call it. If you're getting ready to serve God, Trust me, baby, your distractions are on the way. So you watch, look, listen, and beware. Be on the ready. Be constantly in observation. You watch what's going on around you. The Bible didn't say sleep and pray. The Bible said watch and pray. You watch and pray. And you watch and see what the devil tries to do. But you keep your eyes on the Lord and you won't get tripped up. And you will be found headed for your destiny that God has ordered for your steps. Because the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Follow on his steps, hear me? Follow, listen, <clears throat> look, watch, pray, obey. And when I say obey, I'm not talking about your little flesh and desires, baby. I'm saying, obey God, even if it hurts, even if it means you have to be lonely, even if it means you have to stand alone, that nobody wants to hang with you, 
Even if it means arguments in your home, you have to stand for God. Don't be obnoxious, but stand for God. God bless you.